Hey everybody at Christchurch, it is so lovely to be with you all this morning in your classrooms via the screen and I want to start our worship today by saying welcome to worship and the Lord be with you today in your classrooms. Now I've got our candles here which I'm going to light for you. So I've got our candles here, I'm just going to try and light the first one. And hope that this is successful. Okay. Here we go. The Father. And now I'm going to light the candle representing the Son, which is Jesus. So we've got the Father, the Son, and the candle representing the Holy Spirit. And as we light our three candles, we're remembering that Jesus, Father and Son are part of the Trinity, God three in one. Now, Mr. Flack started off our worship this week by talking about what is fair. And you looked at a video clip thinking about what's fair and what's not fair. I find it all the time and in my house and I bet in your house and in your classrooms people say it's not fair it's not fair it's not fair and there's so many things that we think are not fair things that aren't fair in our family in our friendships and even in our school but do you know today we're going to be thinking further afield to what's not fair and what's right to feel like it's not fair what is fair, what isn't fair. Remember the balancing scales of what's fair and what's not fair. But what's fair and what's not fair around the world. So there's an amazing passage in the Bible that says, um, that God says, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul and with all of your mind and love your neighbour as yourself. Now, we're thinking about the second part of that commandment today. Love your neighbour as yourself. Now, it's not actually just talking about the people that live in the next door house or the next door flat to you or above you or below you um, or across the street from you. It's talking about maybe a neighbouring country, but your neighbour being anyone else in the world other than you. And that actually, we love our neighbours as much as we love ourselves. It means you can't just be selfish and think about only yourself and only your family, but thinking about others. Now, we're going to be thinking about how can things be fair across the world, because you might have noticed that some countries are rich countries and some countries are very poor. Some countries have loads of running water and some countries have none and they have to get their water from wells and sometimes dirty wells. We might be thinking about how some countries have loads of technology and electricity and other countries, people live in tents and don't have what we have. So some countries have loads of food, so much food that they throw it away. Other countries have what's called famine and they are desperate for food and they haven't got enough. So I want us to think about how can we help our neighbour? How can we help people across the world so that it is fair, so that people do have an opportunity for clean water, for food, for clothes, and that people that work around the world have the opportunity for the work that they do to be given fair pay. So you might have heard of the term fair trade. You might have seen bananas with a fair trade sticker or coffee or um, chocolate, um, or other things that have a fair trade stamp on it. You might know some clothes shops and industries where they pay a fair price for the clothes that they make and that it's not um, um, disrespecting people that have worked really hard and don't get paid properly. So we're going to be doing a fair trade quiz. I've got a little video clip for you to watch this morning in your class. You can talk amongst yourselves about what is fair and what is fair trade? And how can we help to make sure that people around the world, that neighbouring countries, get paid sufficiently 
so that life is more fair. It's quite an interesting one. But the, the Bible verse that we're thinking about today was Jesus saying, love your neighbour. OK, so how can we love our neighbour in a fair and just society? So we're going to watch a clip. Then um, there's a prayer on the PowerPoint screen for you or somebody in your class to read through. And then there's going to be a song for you to listen to and reflect to finish worship today. But enjoy the quiz that you're going to do. Enjoy the, um, well, um, participate in the prayer if you would like to and have a listen to the song and see what it makes you feel like today. But have a great day at Christchurch, everybody, and God bless.